Hi, my name is Dino Giacomazzi, and I'm a farmer in Central California. And today I'm going to talk to you about conservation tillage. Conservation tillage is a method of farming that radically reduces the amount of inputs and emissions required to grow crops. On our particular farm, we grow two crops a year. We grow corn, we grow wheat, and we feed all of that to our cows in the form of silage. In our conventional farming operation, which we no longer do, we are 100% uh, conservation tillage at this point, it took many passes in order to get our crops in. In, a, in our conventional system, in order to go from a wheat crop, which we grow in the winter, to a corn crop, which we grow in the summer, after the wheat is harvested, the first operation required is to run a chisel or ripper through the field. Following that, we made two passes with a disc. Then we built raised beds with an implement called a disc bedder or a lister. After that, we would go from a wheat stubble like this to raised beds. Then we irrigate the raised beds. After irrigating, we have to prepare the beds for seed, so we we come in with a piece of equipment called a Lilliston cultivator. We make two passes with this piece of equipment. Then we roll and pack the beds with this roller shaper and then plant corn. After a little while the corn comes up and in order to manage weeds we run the Lilliston cultivator two more passes through the field. And then we inject fertilizer with this fertilizer injection bar. That's 11 passes in the field to go from a wheat crop to a corn crop. After the corn is harvested, we are preparing to go plant wheat for the winter. So the first thing we do is we spread composted manure from the dairy on the fields. Then we would disc two times to incorporate the manure and then we drill wheat with a conventional wheat planting drill. We would end up with a field that looked a little bit like this and we'd plant it and the wheat came up and it looks like that. So that's a total of 15 passes for the year to plant two crops, wheat and corn. In our conservation tillage program, the inputs from wheat to corn are first we after the wheat is harvested, we pull an implement called a strip tiller through the field. A strip tiller is a piece of equipment that combines multiple operations in one pass and does it in narrow strips as opposed to moving all the dirt in the field. After we strip till, we irrigate and then when the ground is dry enough, we plant into the strips using a special specially equipped no-till planter. So we end up starting with wheat stubble like you see here. We produce strips in the field. We plant into those strips and you see here you have corn planted with uh, wheat residue still on the ground. This is a strip-tilled corn field. After corn comes out, we do the same thing. We, we spread composted manure in the fields. We make one pass with the disc, and then we plant with a no-till equipped wheat drill. And wheat looks something like that. Five passes a year in our conservation tillage program for two crops. It's obviously a reduction of 10 passes. So the benefits of conservation tillage include a reduction in passes, which saves money and fuel, re lowers and reduces diesel emissions, there's less equipment to own, major reduction in dust, a reduction in the re labor required, there's less time between crops, less compaction from tractors and other equipment driving in the fields, and more tons per acre per year of crops, partly due to the opportunity to produce a third crop because of the time savings uh, conservation tillage provides you. So that's pretty much it. Conservation tillage in a nutshell. If you have any questions, you can email me at dino at